Hi, my name is Matteo Marini. I am vehicle dynamics and tire performance responsible of the Tiger Porsche Formula E team. And today I'm going to talk you through the tires we race with in Formula E. Formula E tire characteristics, they are 245 millimeters front tire width and 305 millimeters rear, 18 inches diameter, and they are all weather tires, which means that they have to cope from very cold to very hot conditions since we race around the globe. And obviously also from dry to wet, which is the reason why they are not slick tires. So it is one compound only, which is rather soft. But nevertheless, the working window is large enough to cope well with all various weather conditions we face during the season. And despite being relatively soft, they still need to build up a certain temperature to deliver the maximum grip. Since we can't warm the tires up in the box, the driver is uh, fully responsible of bringing the tires up to the target operating conditions. The grip level that Formula E tires deliver is quite high in optimal conditions. Obviously, during a single event, we face very remarkable grip changes along the event. Usually, we can have increasing grip up to 30% during the event. Formula E tires are quite unique. Everybody runs with the same tire. They are designed to hold on for the entire event. In average, we talk about 200 kilometers. Racing around the cities, we can have a big mixture of tarmac to concrete or stones, for example, which is something quite specific of Formula E. So racing in city tracks means for the tires having to deal with a rougher surface. There are also some sort of obstacles like manholes, for example, that are not very common, obviously, on closed circuits. And then often the track limits being walls and barriers, very often they have to sustain quite heavy lateral impacts and scratches against the walls. Well, the tires have a strong impact not only on the racing strategy, but on the entire event. We are always on track with tires that are in different conditions in terms of the wear level, the temperatures, the pressures and so on. For single headers events, we have three new fronts and three new rear tires. While when we go for double headers, we have four new tires per axle. This means that we have to structure the free practice, keeping in mind what we want to achieve in terms of target tire mileage, tire working condition and so on. The wear of Formula E tires is not that high generally because as I mentioned before they are designed to hold on potentially for the entire event. The development of Formula E tires will go in the same direction of the racing series so keeping an eye on sustainability and the environment but also will evolve together with the car.